So in today's video, we're going to check out Invoke AI. Now, Invoke AI is a AI platform. So it offers features like 3D blockout to concept render and a sketch to concept render. So in this video, we're going to focus on some of the features, especially associated with game dev. So I'm going to leave this link down in the description so you can sign up for a free trial. Okay, so let's go to the login page. So let's log in here. So you have generate, you have canvas. We're going to check out all of these, but first let's go to workflows. So Invoke offers a lot of workflows. So here we have a 3D block out to the render. So I'm going to show you how this works. So this is asking us for an image. So you can upload any image here. It should be like a 3D block out. So here you can describe your image. So here we have three diffusion based models. We have the Dream Shaper, the Juggernaut and the Stable Diffusion based model. Juggernaut works really well so I'm going to select that and I'm going to save this image so I'm going to set that to Auto. Here you can also set your image iteration so how many images you want to generate. I'm going to leave this to one. And I'm going to press invoke. So there we go. We have this image looks really good. And this is totally in real time. So it took about five seconds to make this. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to iterate on this. So for example, you don't want snow in this environment. So you can remove that. And you can generate this again. And there we go. We have a rocky landscape. We have rocky textures. So if you want the same environment to be like a volcanic lava environment, you can like change your prompt and you can generate this again. And there we go. We have like a cinematic kind of mountain volcanic environment. Looks pretty good. And you can already tell how useful this is going to be. For example, if you make a level, and you don't know what your level is going to look like or you want to see how your level will look like with lava or with like rocky textures you could go ahead and do the previous in invoke and that way you can like finalize with the textures and the texture styles and stuff next i'm going to show you how you can use control net so this time we're going to generate and this will open up the studio interface here we have different templates so here we have the Archwish template, we have the concept art template. So for this demo, we're going to use the Archwish template. And in the prompt, we're going to type something like utopian building. I need some greenery and it should be sci-fi. And we could also type in realistic. It's a good idea to write negative prompts as well. You can choose your aspect ratio here. I'm going to choose a 16 to 9. And down there you have your models. And this is where things get super interesting. You can see how many models you have here. You have Flux, you have the Charge GPT models. You have Juggernaut and Stable Diffusion models. So this is like super cool. So I'm going to leave those to the default settings. And I'm going to press the Invoke button. So now this is like really green. We have like super like uh, nature vibes here. What if we want to like convert this? building into a dystopia right we want to destroy the same building and we want to make sure that there are no plants and it's basically completely destroyed right so how do we do that so first you need to close this viewer and go to the canvas now this is the canvas you can drag that image to the canvas and here you're going to drag it in the control layer so now let's go to layers and let's extract the information and here you can see there are a lot of options. For this example, I'm going to extract the edges. So here make sure that auto process is enabled and you can play around with these sliders. Now once you're happy with this, you can apply that. So here you can simply select the eraser and using the eraser tool, you can erase all the foliage. We are basically establishing our guiding lines. So 
So in the prompt I've written something like a destroyed building, post-apocalyptical, dystopian, realistic, dramatic and cinematic. Now let's see what we get. So as you can see, we have this image and we have the same building, but it's completely destroyed. Let's take a look at the previous image. You can see this is totally green and this is again a totally opposite one. So it's really difficult to use AI and make consistent environments. Control nets really help you with that. So lastly, we're going to take a look at sketch to concept art. You could do this for environments or characters. So it works the same, we are going to test it out on characters. So let's go to workflows and let's select this. So you can upload the image here. And here you just need to describe the image. And after that, you can press the invoke button. It takes about 5 seconds. Again, this is totally insane how fast this is. I could like now take that illustration, take it into Photoshop and refine the edges or refine some things a bit. So this is a fantastic example of integrating AI in your workflows. And again, Invoke has a lot of different workflows. You can see right here, lot of different features. Make sure that you try them out. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Check out Invoke AI. All the links are down in the description. And that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.